I uh, was here a few weeks ago to, to pick out a work, and I just realized I hadn't been here for so long. And it was so wonderful just to come in here and see all the faces and, you know, just, it was, you know, I, it was hard to pick. But I, uh, I settled on this one. And um, you know how something grabs you from across the room? I see this painting as a woman. And I know that he painted it by himself or looking at himself in the mirror and was trying to project a pose. But when I first saw the painting, as I studied women, it almost looked like a woman's pose to me. And notwithstanding the, the uh, composition of the cello and the music and the chair, it's very dark. There's a lot of paint, maybe a lot of varnish on it. I thought, to make it a little different, um, that I would do some sketches of this painting. Uh, I was talking uh, this over with my um, beautiful wife, Mary Josephson, who was a painter, and we thought he was probably looking in the mirror when he did this, and these hands, how beautiful they are, don't look right on the cello and you know, the music. That's a whole other mystery. So what I was really attracted to was the head and the hands, and what, uh, when I paint, that's what they are. So I did some sketches, and I'm going to show them to you. Uh, the first I did on a piece of bullseye glass that I found in my studio, and I saw this picture as a red-headed woman. And now I paint from the reverse. I paint on this side of the glass. And I, uh, it was this look, the looking up, almost like a woman looks when they're looking at you. And I related to that, but I wasn't, I wasn't satisfied with this. So I found this piece of curved screen glass, which is sort of a kind of glass that's on a TV screen or a computer screen. So it's, it's not uh, clear, it's, it's opaque a little bit. And this one, this one was my favorite. But I, of course, it's hard if you, if you don't do this every day. It's that look, only the person is looking the other way because it's painted in reverse. When I saw this picture, I didn't see Corbet. I didn't see what he was trying to do. All I saw was this beautiful woman. And it made me want to paint a woman with that pose and that face. And so I did.